Adobe just removed 50 plus effects from Premiere Pro. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you what those effects were, why I think they decided to remove them, and what I think the future of Premiere Pro is at this point. So first, let's get into the effects that were removed. Here on Adobe's website, you can see where they announced that the obsolete effects have been officially removed as of August 21st, 2024. And if you scroll down here, you can see every single one of the effects that they removed, as well as some transitions. So why did Adobe make this decision? Well, these effects have been hanging out in the obsolete folder since like 2018 or something like that. And the reason they were put there in the first place is because they were labeled as the least used effects across the entire user base. And there was some in there that were built on old code and just kind of outdated. It seems like Adobe is trying to modernize Premiere by removing the outdated effects and encouraging their users to start using the updated alternatives and third-party options. And at the time of making this video, if you haven't updated to the latest version of Premiere Pro, so version 24.6, you should still have access to the obsolete effects. So what does this mean for the future of Premiere Pro? Well, I'm not going to lie. Whenever I first saw this update, I had my initial response was, an emotional one. And that's because I was just getting tons of comments from you guys talking about like, hey, this effect's not in Premiere Pro anymore. And I'm like, what the heck is the deal? But then I got to thinking this is a great opportunity to start updating some of my older videos. I've been trying to do better about finding the good in every situation. And like, obviously it's not ideal for unfortunate things to happen, but instead of getting pissed, I try to find some sort of benefit that can come from the situation. From a user's perspective, this happens with any software. New technology emerges and businesses are going to adapt. And with the rise of AI and new technology, this is definitely gonna happen again because creators are constantly changing how they create content. I'm not super crazy about spending money on third-party alternatives, but I know creators will find free alternatives as well. Now, if you wanna learn more new features in Premiere, check out this video next because I'm gonna show you how you can instantly make bad audio sound like a podcast. All right, I'll see you in the next one.